Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. I'm still having audio issues with the OBS on my tablet, so it's doing this weird quavering voice uh, situation. I don't remember it happening before a few days ago, but even before and after an update, it is persisting. First kill graphic novel, link is in the description. Uh, interior pages for knife hand blind spot have been approved. Cover just needs one little tweak. Mind your business is black and white. It's going to be easy. So there's going to be a lot of movement within the next uh, week or so. So I recorded four videos about this subject yesterday from a different point of view. Uh, Heidi McDonald did a thread about it, so I covered that. And yes, I had technical issues, but I think mainly I was just way too angry. I'm not angry at Scott Snyder. It's uh, mostly pity with a little bit of disgust for being so incredibly weak. So the latest... um bandwagon, the latest uh, flim flam from the mainstream comic book industry, which I have dubbed Clown World Incorporated. So uh, the latest uh, uh, bandwagon in Clown World Incorporated is to say, good golly gosh, whatever happened to sales reports? Those make everyone feel great. They're a morale boost. Everyone knows why the sales reports are being hidden, because they're terrible. Why would you hide good sales reports? Unless you're trying to scam the IRS. The publishers know exactly how many books they're printing. The distributors know exactly how many books they're shipping because they charge the publishers for it. And the stores know exactly how many books they are buying because they have to pay for them. If you go to a store and say, how many books do you buy? They go, oh, there's no way to know. <laughs> oh, good golly gosh. I, I wish I knew because it sure would make me happy. Sales reports make people happy. That's the latest meme uh, being issued by uh, corrupt journalists. Sales reports only make people happy if the sales are good. Eric July is not shy about his sales. His sales are very good, so he's telling everyone. He's renting time on radio transmitters to send it out into space. So in a thousand years, they will know he sold three point whatever million dollars worth of ISOM number one. People don't hide good sales. That's not a thing that happens on Earth, and it's not something done by humans. People hide bad sales. So now they're like, sales reports are bad. We know that. But let's pretend we want them. Let's pretend they make people happy because they're always good. Scott Snyder is like, oh, I wish... I knew sales reports. You don't know what your sales are? You can't call your publishers and ask them what you're saying. You have no idea. You can't call your publisher and say, hey, remember my Netflix pitch? I mean, comic book about the female firefighters. You always want the least amount of upper body strength in that profession. Yeah, what are the sales? You don't know? That's weird. I don't know either. Stores don't know, but nobody knows. Nobody knows anything. You know exactly what they are. And it made me even more angry because Heidi is also the person who says that Indiegogo is not transparent, even though the backers and the sales are right there on every campaign. Rich Johnston multiple times called Eric July's sales into question, basically accusing him of lying. He did the same thing to me, but in a different tactic. He said, you basically had to divide my backers by like five because every person was buying five books. I'm the one who prepares the backers list for all of my books, and that is absolutely untrue. The flippers are not even 1% of backers. Last year, we got to see far-left professionals like Eric Larson and Bill Sienkiewicz say, hey, it was probably a bad idea to replace every single character with a diversity alternate because nobody knows that character, and they weren't very good, and nobody liked them. And remember, Heidi is the one who every single quarter does a report that says comics are better than ever, and then Jamal Igol goes around to dunk on all the chuds, and he says, the stores are the customers, the readers aren't the customers. And now, Heidi's asking for sell-through numbers. They're like, we need to find out who actually reads these things, because it'll make us feel good. No. <laughs> You're a lamprey on an industry that's about to freaking die and sink to the bottom of the ocean. Parasites need living host. You damage this industry to such an extent that you're like, holy fuck. We need people to actually know what sales are so they can actually... No, it's because they're happy. It makes you feel good. Yeah, it's, it's great. 
when you're Kelly Sue DeConnick and Aquaman just made a billion dollars in the theaters, you really need to know that your comic only sold 18,000 copies. Oh, that lifts your sales right there. Everyone knows what the sales are. They hide them from the general public, but everyone knows every step of the way. Scott Snyder knows exactly what his sales are. People don't hide good sales. People definitely don't hide great sales. People hide bad sales, and people hide plummeting sales. One of the biggest problems we have is that our journalists aren't full-time. They either have a regular normie job that they live off of, or they live off of a spouse. So the comic book industry is essentially a goof to them. It's a goof. It's a gaff. It's just something to fuck with. What they're realizing too late is they fucked with it so much that it might not exist in any way that is recognizable to anyone from previous generations. Batman does not have a contingency plan to support the entire comic book industry. He can survive re-entry from space, but he cannot survive that. Corrupt journalists like Heidi have helped the industry hide its sales, hide that it's not paying people on time, hide that it's going into bankruptcy until it's too late, And now all of a sudden they're like, good golly gosh, could we see some sales reports? It's so weird that for no reason we just suddenly stopped getting all of them right when the PPP loans went away. The sales are hidden because they're terrible. Full stop. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you got any advice to solve this uh, quavering issue for the volume, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.